So let's get to work installing all the stuff we need for our React projects. And so the first thing we'll need is um, Visual Studio Code. And so if you have not yet already installed that, for it, it's used for a bunch of different languages, so you might already have it installed. So Visual Studio Code is just a great code editor. And so we want to make sure to download the latest stable build for Visual Studio Code. And we'll run through that installation process. Create me a little desktop icon. Otherwise, I think the defaults are just fine. So that'll go through and install um, Visual Studio Code for us. Uh, that's going to be our editor. That's where we're, it works so good for front end technologies. Now, for other technologies like .NET, we'll use that Visual Studio, uh, the actual Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, community or, or you know whatever version you're using the pro version or the enterprise version um, but anyway we want to get visual studio code installed and uh, you can go through this little process choose your your theme the dark modern theme right uh, and, and these different settings you can go set up however you want to you know all these different things but I'll go ahead and uh, mark done there and then we've got our visual studio code installed um, do you want to install the WSL extension for Microsoft for it? You have a Windows subsystem for Linux installed on your system. I don't know if you're getting the same message or not. I will not do that for now. Okay, so we got Visual Studio Code installed. That's kind of step one. We're going to use that in a minute. The next thing we want to get is Node.js. Uh, so if we go to Node.js.org, now again, you might have this installed. We're going to grab the latest stable version. So, uh, as a programmer, you typically don't want the the new one, it, <laughs> the buggy one, the problem one. We want the recommended for most users. We are most users, and so we're going to go in and download Node.js as well. So it'll open up a little installer for us. Next, accept the terms without reading, as always. Um, Next, next. Now notice one of the things that it's going to install is our NPM package manager. So NPM stands for Node Package Manager, and we will use this a bunch um, to, to download different packages that we need for our, our system. Uh, Node.js is open source, asynchronous, event-driven, JavaScript, runtime environment. Open source, cross-platform, JavaScript, runtime environment. And um, it's nice because we don't need that constant connection. It's asynchronous uh, pulls of the data. So I'll say next on that. Now it says on this window, automatically install the necessary tools. Note that this will also install Chocolatey. And Chocolatey is another one of these things. I mean, people are just inventing names at this point. Chocolatey, really? But uh, it is something we'll want to install. Um, it's just another tool that's going to help us in our process. So install Chocolatey, next. Install Node.js. And so it'll go through that installation process. Very exciting stuff. I should think of a good story to tell here or something. I got nothing. But uh, I will talk about, you know, again, the, the big deal with this in the world of web, if you have to wait 10 seconds for something to load, it's really frustrating. And so we want things to run as quickly as possible. And so we do that by nowadays by using this single page application format where we get kind of a frame, a shell, and then we fill in little pieces of that page as needed at the time we need to. And that's part of what we're trying to accomplish here. All right, that finished, so I'll click the Finish button. And uh, this is going to install all the Python and Visual Studio build tools necessary to compile Node.js native modules and Chocolatey and, and whatnot. Three gig of free disk space, so not a small thing. And uh, anyway, we'll go click that, any kitty continue, and then it will uh, start that installation process. Yes, allow it to make changes. 
and then again it'll start walking through the the installation um, back to my thought so single page applications SPAs um, they, they work so well to have this page loaded up and then if I need to change this button change the button but don't re-download the whole page and so get the data that we need for that initial page and then as we make moves you know around navigating to different pages then have it already loaded up and ready to go and so we don't have to wait when I click on this learn button for it to go download all the stuff it needs from the website which is the typical old way the the, the prior way of doing it uh, with with technologies that were full stack like uh, .NET that is going to go build that page on the server put it into a bundle and then have us download the bundle and so it works good for for that and, and .NET has come up with the solution as mentioned so they have blazer pages which are uh, single page application so everybody's going to single page application because it's so much quicker on the user's end all right so that says type enter to exit i will type enter to exit and then we have that installed and so we're good there with getting uh, visual studio code and node js installed and you think we'd be done at this point getting it set up and ready to go no we've still got a ton to do so i'm just going to go out here to the desktop for now and create a folder called test app. All right, so I've got a test app folder, and now I'm gonna go open that folder on the desktop and pull up my test app folder, and that will open that folder. Yes, I trust myself most of the time. Uh, let's see, trust the authors of all files in the parent folder desktop. And so, yes, I do trust myself. So yes, trust the authors. So now you can see I'm in my test app folder where I can go in and start putting files. And so in order to get this set up, I'm going to go, first of all, open a uh, terminal window. And so let's see, open, where's my terminal? I have to remind myself. Terminal, so go open a terminal window and then I can start installing the necessary packages that I need in order to make this run. And so I think though, looking at the time, I'm gonna do that in the next video and make it a separate one, installing the packages. So we got the software installed that we needed, and now we're gonna go start bringing in individual packages for React to run. Spencer out.